Flutter or Expo? The first and hardest question when you are looking for cross-platform technologies that suits your new mobile app project. They are both frameworks that allows developers to build apps for iOS and Android from a single codebase. However, they are two very different technologies. In this video, I'm going to break down the core differences between these two frameworks, compare their relative strengths and weaknesses, and guide you through choosing which one to use. Let's start with introduction to each framework. Flutter was released by Google back in 2017. It's an open source framework for building high performance, pixel perfect mobile apps. Flutter's core are widgets. It's a reusable UI components that developers customize and combine to create rich interfaces. Flutter uses Dart programming language. Dart is compiled ahead of time into native machine code for each platform. When Flutter apps run, the UI is drawn, also known as rendered, onto the screen via Impeller, a rendering engine that's optimized specifically for Flutter apps. This gives pixel-perfect control over the entire screen, a major factor that makes Flutter so powerful. As of today, Flutter has been adopted by tech giants like Alibaba, ByteDance, Tinson, and more. On the other hand, Expo is a framework for building universal React applications. It is built on top of React Native, specifically designed to provide a set of tools and services that enhance and simplify it. Expo abstracts a lot of the complexity involved in building with React Native using its component and architecture to allow developers to write JavaScript code that compiles to native component. Some of the key features of Expo are Expo Go. This is a mobile client that lets you open and preview your project on real device instantly without needing to compile the app first. Expo SDK. The SDK offers access to system features like the camera, notifications, sensor, alongside standard UI components with regular updates and support. So Expo is best thought of as an enhancement to React Native. It makes it easier to use, more beginner friendly, and overall more efficient. Next comes to strengths and weaknesses of both frameworks. On user interface and performance, Flutter known for its high performance and rich UI capabilities. Flutter has a custom rendering engine, which allows it to directly draw widgets on the screen, ensuring consistent performance across platforms. While Expo relies on React Native's bridge between JavaScript and native code, which may result in some performance issue for graphic intensive or highly optimized applications. On ecosystem and libraries, Flutter has an expanding ecosystem but it's not as large as React Natives yet. Some advanced native functionality may require custom native code, as not all native modules are available. Expo comes with many built-in libraries and tools to help with things like push notification, camera access, location, etc. As Expo built on top of React Native, it can support majority of native modules. On hot reload or development speed, both frameworks support hot reloading. Hot reload feature allows developer to quickly see changes without restarting the entire app. On app size, Flutter apps tends to have a larger binary size due to the custom engine and libraries bundled with the app. Expo apps can be a bit larger than pure React Native apps as Expo includes all the dependencies. However, there are tools that help control app size by excluding unnecessary modules. So these are the comparison on major concerns while selecting new cross-platform app development framework. Each framework has its own pros and cons depending on the complexity and needs of the project. In a summary, choose Flutter if you need high-performance apps with rich and custom UIs. You want to target multiple platforms you don't mind learning Dart and dealing with a slightly stepper learning curve? 
you need more flexibility and control over the native code and build process. Choose Expo if you prefer using JavaScript or TypeScript and have prior experience with React. You need to quickly prototype and build apps with pre-configured libraries and easy deployment. You want to focus more on JavaScript development with less need for complex native code integration. Your project is mobile first and you don't need to go beyond what Expo offers. So do you prefer Flutter or Expo? Share your experience in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.